Welcome back guys to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. Uh, if you'll remember, last session we lost Jasper. He got trapped down here in all this carbon dioxide. And we were going to build a memorial for him. Uh, this actually serves several different functions. Uh, it will increase decor, it'll decrease stress, and it'll give us a place to put Jasper. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll have a, a nice place for him now that he's passed away. Uh, that said, uh, we are now short a duplicate, so one of our next priorities is to take a new one. Uh, with only three duplicates, we, we can't get quite as much stuff done. Um, and before things get out of hand down here in the lower left hand corner, uh, we need to go ahead and dig out this dirt so that people don't <laughs> People don't get uh, stuck suffocating yet again. Uh, we, we don't want that, especially with as few folks as we have. Um, it does look like we're going to have our new duplicate here relatively soon. And I want to say one of the last things I was working on was getting this up and running. I'm going to take a quick look at the uh, liquid piping overlay. Yep, that looks pretty good. Um, what I want to do here is I want to take my liquid pipe, pipe it up, and I want to go into the intake of the dirty, intake to the uh, purifier, so that we can take what comes into the shower and the bathroom and vent it into here for our dirty water storage. Let's see, what are we missing here? Uh, it looks like we're missing some built components. We want to make sure that, that connects. Okay, so we'll have a good shower and lavatory here very soon. Taking a look at our food, we're not doing half bad. Uh, we've produced plenty. Uh, but I think what I want to do now is I want to come up with a place for us to grow our own food. I've seen a couple of folks do it and it does seem to be very helpful. And I'm going to go with about the same setup that I had with the algae and I'm going to do four, skip one, and then do four more. And this is not going to be a very high priority. Uh, and I do want to look at putting in some uh, gas permeable tiles here so that the light will come down. Let's see. Um, I do want to give it a halfway decent base. And we'll just make it the same length and I overdid it. There we go. They will get to work on that and we will very soon get into this. Until we get gas permeable tiles, the only way that I personally know of to get light down here, gas, and water would be to replace these tiles with ladders, which does not work. You'll get the same error of invalid building location. And I'm not entirely sure why that tile hasn't finished. So I'm going to bump up the priority here. Ah, oh, it's a four. That would do it. There we go. Uh, since we've researched a bit more in the way of power, we've got these big batteries. And I mentioned it at the very beginning that one of these takes up the slot of two of the others. And that is a, that is a good thing because these hold quite a bit more power. So the big battery and the tiny battery it only holds 10 so it is twice the power density and that means I need to deconstruct a few of these and then put in a big battery in their place there we go we have a big battery going in its place and I'm gonna wait for that to finish before I get rid of these two I'm going to take a step back real quick and take a look at the uh, priorities. Low priority priorities up here, that's just fine. Uh, I wasn't 
looking at it, but Jasper has found his new home in the Tasteful Memorial. Like I said before, that'll keep us from having morbs. Let's sweep. Oh, that's not going to let me sweep that. Can we harvest that? We cannot harvest that. Maybe it's because we're in the priorities menu. There we go. That will work. And let's take a look at our oxygen overlay again. We have tons of good here. Uh-oh. Let's take a look at our stress. Melody is very stressed. Mm. And I do believe she just made a mess here. Yes. Contaminated water. Uh, that right there is... An, that's the reason we've blocked off all of our water and don't have a good way for water to drain down in there except for this contaminated water. So to keep that from producing too much bad air, I'm going to have them mop that on a very high priority. And then I'm going to cancel the inside here so they don't freak out. See, they're not very happy that they've stepped into contaminated water. Uh, them having a place to take a shower, though, is good, definitely going to help. Okay, so we've got our new battery in place, and to keep some of the load off of them, I'm going to wait till this fills up before I get rid of these two and put a bigger battery in. Uh, looking at our stress, Melody is at a 71. So tomorrow, her thing is she's going to spend some time on a massage table. Uh, once again, looking at the oxygen overlay, good oxygen here, a little bit of CO2 down there. Uh, as soon as we get our uh, gas permeable tiles, we're going to make very good use of this. Uh, let's see, two and a half kilograms of pressure versus almost a kilogram of pressure. So we definitely want a way for this air to push its way up. Yes, she is assigned there. She will eventually get there. Okay, uh, we've got a few of our planter boxes up and ready to go. I want to go ahead and plant some mealwood seeds. Uh, the best thing about the mealwood seeds and the other things that we can put in this planter is they require no power, whereas the microbe musher does require power. So if I look at the micro musher, does it say how much power it takes here under energy? Um, consumed. If it's not doing anything, it's still consuming 15 watts. Um, I want to do a little bit of priority change here now that we're growing uh, meal lice. And I'm going to have the uh, lice loaf as a high priority. And we have made another mess. Hmm. So we need to go ahead and... Oh, boy, is that a big mess. There we go. That should take care of that. And what is the issue we're having over here? Does it not have power? It absolutely does not have power. And I think in the interest of preserving the integrity of this floor we're just going to go up from here oh will it let me build okay it will let me build come right into there and it should start purifying water as soon as they're done with that um, we're gonna let them pick up all of this oh man it keeps going everywhere I'm gonna go ahead and have them clean up all of that and then we'll prioritize Melody on this massage table. I want to bump up the priority on that. We'll give it about a 7, so she should be able to go use that anytime she wants. Uh, speaking of, let's see where is she is. She is in the shower. Let's pause it real quick. And she has interrupted sleep. Uh, stepped in contaminated water and is holding her breath. Why is she holding her breath? She's holding her breath because she came down into here. Now, I think some of the interrupted sleep is the... Well, it's not a bad amount of oxygen, but you'll see little um, 
bubbles of carbon dioxide down here and I think that is what's interrupting their sleep. So I am very much looking forward to the new research coming out. Let's see. Select research and we are one away from some gas permeable tiles. Oh, there we go. There we go. How's our stress doing? Melody is at a 92, but it is dropping. Or at least the overall stress is dropping. Now, one of the good things about these vomiters is it only produces the contaminated water. Uh, the destructive will actually break things, which is not good. We don't have much in our colony, so we very much need things to not break. Let's go ahead and stick in a big battery here and the electrical wire. I made a bit of a mess with that. I should not have deleted the uh, cable. Really looking forward to some halfway decent duplicates coming in the next 300 accelerated seconds. Let's take a look at the decor overlay. Yeah, there's not much that's pretty here. Let's take a look at the jobs. So what I'm looking for is art. Elvis can art. So we're going to let Elvis do some art. That looks like, yes, we have finished our gas piping. So we're going to research some interior decor. And we're building up our battery. Yeah, you'll notice that it's taking longer and longer between times we have to fill up those batteries. That's good. She doesn't have any particular reason to be stressed, which is very good. That means her stress should be going down quite a bit faster now. Let's see, organic algae. We're doing okay on algae, but not particularly all that great. So I'm going to have these guys dig up some algae on a slightly higher than average priority. And I think since we're down to 45, we can take her off of that and get her doing something useful now. There we go. Uh, I know they haven't picked up this algae down here, but they will come and get it when they need it and it's already been uh, mined out. We currently have a food shortage. Why do we have a food shortage? Hmm. Let's uh, go back to just mush, mar mush bars. There we go. Delivering some stuff. Apparently it does not like it if you've got lice loaf in front of mush bars. It will continue to build lice loaf until it can. I mean, until it can do mush bars. Let's see if it's actually moving. It has moved up to it and it... Oh, there it goes. Off she goes. Um, let's go into our decor. And we're going to put couple of blank canvases up here. couple of blank canvases up here. And maybe one right there. Because I'm fairly sure they can reach that. Can we fit one there? We can fit one there. Most of this is not doing so great on the decor. There's not a whole bunch we can do about that though. Um, I do want to... I know this is, seems unrelated. I do want to go ahead and build this uh, floor lamp says must be built on the ground. I want to put it there, put it there, and I kind of want to put one there. But we're going to leave it at just two for the moment. Maybe time to build a couple of ladders down. And it is definitely time to go ahead and build those gas permeable tiles. I want one here and one over each of the lights. One under each of the lights, so it'll spread it. And let's take a look at the oxygen overlay as they build those. I think they've gone ahead and busted that open. 
Nope, they are just building it directly on top. Yes, and the pressure is going up. That is very, very good. And I'm going to keep it on that higher priority. And I'm going to keep these in line. That's, that's good. So while they're sleeping, their carbon dioxide will drift down and the good oxygen will drift up. There we go. That is so much better. So, so, so much better. I like that. I like that a lot. How's it down here? It's actually pushing breathable oxygen in since the uh, carbon dioxide is a lower... Well, it's not very... It's not much lower. But uh, this is a lower pressure than the air over here. Let's see. What else do we need? What's the pressure in here? Very low. Now, I've seen some stuff that happens when you overpressurize an area. I'm not sure how it handles vacuums, but I really wouldn't mind having an extra place for our carbon dioxide to drop. So I'm going to put in a tile there, and I wanted to bump the priority. I just realized that our microbe musher was down on a 4 priority since we had so much food. We need to go ahead and, and bump that up so they will go ahead and make a lot of food. And fast. Um, food reserves are very low and food is beyond reach for a couple of folks. And the only reason I can think of that it's not out of reach for all three is because one of them has eaten fairly recently. So we've got a thousand kilocalories, two thousand kilocalories. We've got two guys eating. So we're going to need quite a few more bars before that's usable. Uh, let's take a look at our research again, and I know I do that a whole bunch, but I'm interested in this refrigerator. I don't personally know how useful that is, but the idea that we could store food longer is a very promising idea. Does that? Yes. So, I wanted to uh, take a second and look at this tasteful memorial. It actually says, rest in peace, Jasper. I think that's, that is very tasteful. And a new duplicate is ready. Let's see who's available. We've got Floyd, Grungy, and May. Destructive Vomiter Vomiter. Biohazard, narcoleptic, and anemic. Uh, I really don't want to pick grungy, uh, mostly because of his narcolepsy and the anemia, but we need another duplicate. So we're going to go ahead and welcome grungy to the colony. There we go, and she's doing some research. I don't re remember her being too terribly smart. There we go, grungy stats. Learning is a two. <laughs> Not very strong in that department. I wonder how much power actually making and using so, net about 30 kilojoules. Yeah. So we're doing okay. And by cutting off things we're not using, I think we've cut back on that waste. Let's see, what do we want to put there? More meal wood. These look like they're going to be, yes, they're going to be ready for a harvest very soon. Take a look at the oxygen overlay. You can see the carbon dioxide coming out of them and then drifting down. That's nice. That is very nice. Still a little low on food. Uh, less than a day or two's worth of food. So I'd like to go ahead and have them keep doing that. I do want to prioritize these paintings a little bit better. 
There we go. And we need to change this real quick. So Elvis is the most creative. We don't want anybody else uh, painting these paintings. Anybody can build them, but we want the most creative person to paint them. It seems to make a big difference in the amount of decor they offer. Hmm, we seem to be low on power. Maybe time to consider something like a coal generator. Let's look down here. Barely breathable, but breathable. Um, we could actually... Yes, we've got some filtration here. Hmm. We may just go ahead and dig out all of this on a higher than average priority and stick a coal generator down there. I kind of want to stick it far at the back. Yeah. And then a wire to hook it into the main power line. There we go. Now, I don't remember how much coal we have, but I can find that out real quick. It's consumable ore. We do not have much coal. So when they're done with that... Ah, we're short on metal too. That means we need to start digging again. And this priority needs to come up a bit, because we need that metal. There we go. Is that coal? That is coal. Is that coal? That is plain old dirt. So it may be worth our time to maybe not on a six. Go ahead and dig this out to about there. There we go. Don't want to dig quite up to the slime. Let's uh, set our priority very high. Oh, can I not change the priority on these? I can, but I have to do it individually, it seems. Okay. So we're going to have some paintings here very soon. Hopefully they're going to bump up our decor quite a bit. Ooh, there we go. Ever so slightly more green. Let's take a look at our decor. It must have been, Oh, it has increased greatly. Has our stress gone down? Our stress has not really gone down. High stress on Elvis, Grungy is 0, Hideki is 1, Melody is 55. Let's take a look at Elvis. Where is he? He is in the shower. Probably taking care of some of his stress. I have a theory that they don't particularly like having high priority jobs thrown at them. Uh, interrupted sleep and stepped in contaminated water. I'm I fixed the contaminated water, uh, and I've done quite a bit for his interrupted sleep. Let's see him tonight and see what happens, what caused that. I have no idea. Maybe it was a, a food issue that interrupted his sleep? That's what it seems like to me. He was the first one up, and he was dreaming of food, and then the first thing he did is go get food. Is that water filling up at all? It does not seem to be filling up. What's our oxygen look like over here? We've got good oxygen everywhere. So unless we break into some bad air somewhere, I think we'll be okay. I don't know if we're out-pressuring this uh, carbon dioxide. Uh, no, we are 
we are definitely out pressuring that carbon dioxide. That means we do need to set up a scrubber eventually. Let's get rid of this stupid plant. There we go. Getting rid of that little plant. Let me go ahead and plan out what I wanted to do next. I think four should be plenty. Ooh, there we go. And it does not have to be a high priority at the moment since we're doing okay on power. Uh, as soon as we get somebody running on it non-stop all day every day, then we'll have to make some changes. But I want to say I've seen them take short breaks. And we're definitely filling these batteries up slowly, but we are filling them up. So we've got a net gain in power. And a new duplicate on the way. Let's see who we've got. Uh, we've got one vomiter with small bladder mole hands and is a grease monkey. Howard, other than the small bladder, I think he's a good fit. I'm going to go ahead and pick him up and we're going to hit our theoretical maximum of five. There we go. Uh, I didn't... I mean, we can obviously go above five duplicates, but five is where I wanted to stop. It gets a bit harder to manage when you've got more than five. They also go through your resources quite a bit faster. I don't know how much water is going in. Kilograms of water. Six kilograms coming out. So we don't have as much coming out as we have going in. Okay, and I wouldn't mind having a place for these guys to eat. Meaning I need to wall off some stuff. Let's see, two here. And how many do we need? We need five. One, two, three, four, five. That will work. And then I want to put a pneumatic door on there so that the air can go through. And let's see, who else was very stressed? Melody was very stressed. We're going to go ahead and put Melody on one as well. And I think this was at a seven, so they're now both at a seven. And if I need them, need them, I can pull them off of that. If I don't really need them, uh, they can stay there. Let's see, what does our light overlay look like? There's definitely not a whole bunch of light going through those gaps. So these were a good idea. Let's go ahead and set more seeds down. I wonder if they give off, give off oxygen. What does it say on the overlay? Not particularly. But let's go ahead and harvest these guys, and I'm going to bump this priority back down to an average. We're doing okay on food. We've got a, a day or two's worth. Let's go ahead and have them sweep up that food. Seems as though we do not have enough water. Meaning I need to go ahead and prioritize these so they can get down there to that water. And probably go ahead and drop it the rest of the way down. Now you don't want to build tile in this water because it, when it displaces the water, the water just disappears. It just goes away for good. So you don't really want to do that. Sounded like a mess. Let's see, what's our oxygen look like? Our oxygen is still great. It says we're not producing enough. Uh, produced 1.2 kilograms and consumed 60 kilograms. Rounding up, of course. Okay, and they should be able to reach, reach the water. Here's our narcoleptic falling asleep. All 
Okay, so we're doing okay overall. And yes, we definitely are generating plenty of power. I keep meaning to cut these episodes shorter and shorter, but I keep not doing it. Um, I think I'm going to cut more out during the editing because it, after a certain number of minutes it does become a pain to edit. And I know you don't want to stick around for all the most boring things. Right now I'm just kind of just rambling. <laughs> uh, any feedback is very welcome. Just leave me a comment below. Diarrhea. Ah, we have an infection. What do we have for an infection? We have nothing for an infection. I wonder if it'll go away or if it'll spread. Because we may need to turn this back on and change our priority on our research to the med bay. I think having a refrigerator would be nice, but the med bay seems to be a big deal right now. Oh, and it is nighttime on cycle 29. Oh, I think we're going to call it there for the evening, and I will catch you in the next episode. <laughs>